Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to episode 46 of Improving Chess with Sagar and the Comedians. Uh, well, we're closing on on the 50 episode mark and I'm very excited for the same. Uh, and uh, well, we have a lot of learning to do today. It is um, going to be exciting, but today very importantly, we will uh, end the stream at 9.30 p.m. Uh, sorry, 9.30 a.m which is uh, well one and a half hours from now well we have a super chat first super chat of the day and it is by someone whom i know samai raina says can i play with samai raina today <laughs> samai is up today so cool so cool let me get him on screen one second let me first take out my black screen so that uh, samai can be invited and admit अरे भाई 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 क्या बात है समय मुझे मुझे सोचा ही नहीं आप उठे रहोगे आज अरे मैं सोया ही नहीं भाई आपके लिए अरे मेरा सागर जी से मिले हुए बहुत टाइम हो गया है सागर जी के यहाँ दर्शन देके आते हैं क्या चल रहा है हाँ वही तो प्रैंक कॉल प्रैंक कॉल करते करते ही मिलता है भाई तूने कोई कॉल नहीं उठाया जिंदगी भर प्रैंक कॉल उठा लिया भाई हम लोग कर उसी पे ट्रिप आ रहे थे बहुत है नहीं 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 आपका उठाया नहीं फिर मैंने किया कॉल बैक आ वही जो भी आप कभी नहीं करते नहीं तू मैं अगर सागर को अभी भी कॉल करूँ तो भी नहीं उठाएगा वो नहीं but but क्यों सोए नहीं आप what was your कोई stream चल रहा था आपके मैं दो बज गए रात के फिर मैं कहाँ भी सोऊंगा तो सागर शाकी को शकल नहीं देख पाऊंगा सुबह मैंने कहा ऐसे इन गई अरे थैंक यू थैंक यू भाई थैंक यू सो मच अभी क्या क्या प्लान क्या है मतलब आपका कल चेस खेलने का प्लान था कुछ रीचिंग ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड ऐसा मैंने पढ़ा था ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड तो तीन महीने हो गए रीचिंग आई आई कीप द क्वालिटी कंसिस्टेंट क्वालिटी कंट्रोल ब्रिलियंट सब लोग अभी लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर जॉइनिंग इन कबीर जैन बोल रहे हैं गुड मॉर्निंग सागर कैन आई प्ले विथ समय प्लीज अरे समय का गेम ऑलरेडी इट इज बीन बुक्ड बाई समय प्लेंग अगेन समय भाई मैं खुद के चैनल का मेंबर हूँ भाई मेरे को क्या हो गया है <laughs> मेरे को चेस डॉक्टर नहीं मेरे को डॉक्टर के पास जाना है वो पता है ना देर इज वन सेइंग कि जैसे व्हाट यू वांट पीपल टू डू यू मस्ट डू इट फर्स्ट समथिंग लाइक दैट लाइक डू ऑन टू योर सेल्फ व्हाट यू वांट अदर्स टू डू तो तुमने सोचा कि मैं अगर मेंबर बनूंगा तो दूसरे भी बनेंगे ऐसा तो कुछ नहीं सोचा था भाई मैंने काश सो समय टुडे देयर इज वन थिंग आई हैव टू एंड द स्ट्रीम एट 9:25 ओके so I usually we go on till 10 10 15 so on but today we'll end so we need to do i need to teach you one very interesting subject i think vaibhav is also up so he will join soon but i need yeah. to teach one very important concept today jo main bahut bar aapko bataya hai stream pe but you have always made fun of it so today is your test on yeah, that yeah. that Opposition. subject nahi nahi <laughs> opposition ha opposition ek tha but wo nahi minority attack <laughs> yeah yeah definitely okay you know how what how it works i know right? how to do it yeah okay, yeah. okay. Uh, matlab not in chess <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry about that <laughs> so uh pehle do you want to play a game first or do you want yeah, to yeah let's do it let's play a game today okay let's play a game because samay chess ke stream to bahut karta hai par chess kam khelta hai so let's play a game oops Let's make this bigger. भाई आज मेरे को एक इंस्टाग्राम पे मैसेज आया। हाँ। मैं बता दूँ। मैंने स्क्रीनशॉट ले लिया भाई। Hi, I'm sorry I had to send this to you, but now that you have opened it, you can't stop reading this. Hi, my name is Teresa Fidalgo. I died 27 years ago. <laughs> If you don't send this to 20 people, I will sleep by your side forever. <laughs> send this to 20 people. A girl ignored this. <laughs> no send backs. Sorry to send this, but this is not fake. Sir, shut up. <laughs> Girl ignored this. What happened? 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 What
मुझे क्या लगता है इतने सारे फैन आपको इंस्टाग्राम पे मैसेज कर रहे हैं आप वो पढ़ नहीं रहे हो और और आप ये मैसेज भाई कौ किसका एक्सेप्ट करना है एक सेकंड डिड सलाम डिड समय स्लीप टुडे ऐसे पूछ रहे हैं सब लोग नो ब्रो समय कैसे आप पैसे कैसे जी सकते हो मतलब यू नो हाउ लॉन्ग विल यू सस्टेन लाइक दिस विदाउट स्लीप भाई लिव यंग डाई फ्री ब्रो अच्छा वो मुझे लगा कि डाई यंग भी हो जाएगा उसमें लेट्स गो कॉमेडियंस कॉमेडियंस कौन है मेरे को दो आए हैं चैलेंज खुश और समय रहना का भाई समय रहना ने दिमाग लगाया भाई एक बंदा है इसका नाम है समय रहना हाँ उसका दिमाग को दे दो आप उसको दे देते हैं समय रहना के साथ लेंगे उसका उसका पिंक कमा रहा है भाई ये मैं ही तो नहीं हूँ चल खुश के साथ खेलते हैं अच्छा नहीं 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 अरे मैं तो गलत ही हॉल में हूँ भाई अरे प्ले प्ले विथ एस एन वन नाइन नाइन कल उन्होंने भेजा था उनको खेलना था एस एन वन नाइन 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 हाँ वो लिंक जो है कॉमेडियंस में टू चैलेंज कॉमेडियंस ओके हाँ आगे बात सर किसके साथ खेलना है एस आर वन टू वन वन एस एन हाँ वो भी चलेगा या फिर एस एन वन वन नाइन वन नाइन 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 मेरे को तो नहीं आया अभी तक कोई इनवाइट कम्युनिटी टैब में देखो कोई है कम्युनिटी में दो ही है खुश और समय रहना आप यहाँ पे आ रहा है चेस बेस वांट्स टू नो योर लोकेशन नहीं रहने दो मत बताओ मैंने बता दी भाई <laughs> हाँ एस मुरुगन कहते हैं स्लीप डेप्रिवेशन विल कॉज ह्यूज लॉन्ग टर्म इफेक्ट्स बेहतरीन भाई सुबह सुबह कितनी अच्छी बात बोलती है उन्होंने मेरे को कुछ अच्छा ही बोल देते भाई जिंदगी में <laughs> सुबह सुबह बस मूड खराब कर दो कि भाई तेरा फ्यूचर बर्बाद अरे ये चश्मा का आजकल बहुत प्रॉब्लम हो गया है मेरे को देखो पहले तो ये हेडफोन्स पहनता हूँ तो चश्मा बीच में आता है सेकेंडली मास्क पहनते हैं बाहर जाने को तो भी चश्मा बीच में आई थिंक हैविंग प्रॉब्लम कबीर जैन कबीर जैन के साथ खेलो अडीबान अंडर ओपी ये देखो यहाँ पे अडीबान अडीबान आप समय को चैलेंज कीजिए टेन मिनट गेम के लिए प्लीज चैलेंज भाई भाई मैं रूम में यार मेरे को कोई चैलेंज क्यों नहीं कर रहा सुजीत कह रहे वन सजेशन प्लीज बी ऑन समय स्ट्रीम रीचिंग ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड आई एम श्योर ही विल क्रॉस फोर्टीन हंड्रेड ठीक है आई समय आई विल टेल यू आई कैन बी ऑन योर स्ट्रीम इफ यू प्ले सीरियसली विदाउट यूजिंग जे एंड के गैम्बिट फॉर टू डेज ठीक है दो दिन सिर्फ यू गिव बैन टू जे एंड के गैम्बिट फॉर टू डेज सीरियसली खेलना है तो यू विल क्रॉस फोर्टीन हंड्रेड सिर्फ अरे आप वो रूम में रूम नहीं हो नहीं, ब्रो। नहीं वो नहीं यार टू प्ले विथ कॉमेडियन आज का स्ट्रीम देखो आज के लिंक पे क्लिक करो आप कोई दूसरे स्ट्रीम पे जाके खेल किया है एक तो इतने स्ट्रीम है आपके भाई सागर सर आई यूज जे एंड के गैम्बिट इन बुलेट एंड क्रॉस टू थाउजेंड आर्याशा आर्याशा दो हजार रेटिंग क्रॉस करना आ रहा है नथिंग बिग फॉर यू यू विल यू हैव टू क्रॉस ट्वेंटी फोर हंड्रेड गाइज वॉच वॉच अनिश गिरी स्ट्रीम ऑन वेन ही प्लेज ऑनलाइन यू नो द सीरियसनेस विथ विच ही प्लेज इज इंस्पायरिंग इंस्पायरिंग अनिश गिरी और समय रायना का अभी अनिश गिरी बोलता है समय रायना व्यूअर्स प्लीज कम टू माई चैनल बिकॉज समय के नॉट प्ले चेस लाइक मी ऐसे अनिश बोल रहे आज टेन नहीं सोच रहा हूँ फिर 
सो so, uh, समय ने डी सिक्स खेला है बड़े स, बड़े लंबे समय के बाद क्योंकि वो हमेशा ए सिक्स खेलते थे ही यूज टू प्ले ए सिक्स नाइट यूज टू जम्प टू डी सिक्स एफ फाइव ओके नहीं ये मेरे स्ट्रीम पे नहीं चलता ये कॉमेंट्री ये थोड़ा ये हो जाए आउट ऑफ सिंक ठीक है मैं फिर बंद कर रहा हूँ अपना हेडफोन ठीक है प्लीज रिक्वेस्ट समय टू कीप इट स्ट्रीम्स टू पब्लिक एटलीस्ट फॉर वन डे बिफोर मेकिंग इट प्राइवेट सम आर नॉट एबल टू वॉच इट लाइव अरे जेक स्टाइल्स वो स्ट्रीम का क्या मतलब है जिसमें ही इज मेकिंग प्रैंक कॉल्स वॉट इज वॉट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ वॉचिंग दैट स्ट्रीम एंड इज सेंग एवरी वन ओके अनिर बान का पार्ट ही शुड कीप बिकॉज दैट का ही रियली फूल्ड इम बट अदरवाइज नो वन गॉट फूल्ड नाइट एफ सिक्स Bishop G5. I don't know who guessed one, three, three, two, eight, six is, but he's playing decently. And now Samay has plundered the D6 pawn, which his opponent did not take. Okay, okay. If you want the commentary that is interesting, let's do it. So, Samay, but but I'll have to do it in Hindi. Okay. सो so, समय अभी सोचते हुए उनके पास ओ नाइट सी सेवन पे गए हैं अब रुक के पास कोई जगह नहीं है रुक हैज टू मूव टू बी एट एंड ऑलरेडी ये दोनों नाइट अगर आप देखेंगे तो दे हैव बीन काइंड ऑफ ऐसे ये हो गए वो क्या कहते हैं एक दूसरे के साथ बुरी संगत में पड़ गए दे हैव रीच द स्पॉट वेर दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी ना आफ्टर रुक बी एट वॉट आर दीज नाइट्स डूइंग no idea no idea okay he can win a pawn by the way he can win a pawn and then he can win like this of course it's a better position but i don't believe guest went inside with that intention are yahi hua yahi hua game mein unhone mara queen takes pawn takes aur samay ne aise hi pawn de diya samay ka relaxed face dekhiye aap relaxed no no tension he is like kuch farak nahi padta pawn gaya no problem White should now long castle, just long castle कर देंगे But then knight will jump to d4. This will be a good move. समय knight d4 फोर के लिए पर समय मुझे लगता है वो खेलेंगे नहीं नाइट डी फोर कुछ तो ब्लंडर कर चुके हैं क्योंकि देखिए सर पे हाथ रखे हुए क्या किया बिशप ब्रिलियंट मूव समय ने खेल दिया है भाई पूरा कैंसल क्या क्या कर क्या रहे हो मुझे ये बताओ वॉट आर यू डूइंग मैंने पता नहीं क्या कर दिया भाई नहीं मुझे आपको आज बुरा लगाऊंगा ठीक है यू यू हैव टू फील बैड वॉट आर यू डूइंग इन लाइफ यू आर नॉट स्लीपिंग यू आर नॉट प्लेइंग यू आर नॉट नॉट प्लेइंग सीरियसली वॉट इज दॉट इज आई जस्ट मेरा ब्लंडर ब्रो आई मेरा ब्लंडर एंड आई वॉज लाइक तीन मिनट है जब के पास थ्री मिनट थ्री पॉइंट थ्री वॉट वाई वाई डिड यू प्ले बिशप ई सिक्स knight d4 is also better you know you can put your knight on d4 here bhai koi to claps kar raha hai bhai uh, claps wahi sab clap hi kar rahe the problem is people are enjoying knight d4 ko bhi is bishop c4 check no position first of all oh, tell man. me one thing tell me samay you can see the board right you can see the board yeah yeah abhi yahan pe koi aadmi aa raha hai should have taken that pawn ha huh? which pawn नो यू टे प्लेड बिशप ई सेवन टेक्स टेक्स अभी ये पॉन मर रहा है ना फ्री में ही डिट इवन टेक एंड बेसिकली इफ यू टेक विद द पॉन देन यू विल लूज योर कैसलिंग विच इज ऑल्सो बैड आई मीन इन जनरल ओके लेट्स लेट्स ट्राई टू फोकस समय लेट्स लेट्स ट्राई टू ब्रिंग द रियल समय आउट अंदर से मतलब द समय आई न्यू हु Who was very strong? Let's do it, boy. One game, I mean, one game, such a game, na, jaha pe, I mean, you give no inch to your opponent, jaha pe, your brain is working. Adi Man, I'm playing with you, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
ओवर अचीवर ओके लाइक वन वन हु इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट कॉमेडियंस इन द वर्ल्ड इन इंडिया लाइक ही वन द कॉमिक स्थान एंड सो ऑन when you when they feel like they want to play well they will so i want to see now exactly if he if he can play well if he can play well uh, murli funny says i am rakesh would have lost his job yesterday yeah, well I, i i didn't believe that was a good idea to uh, to do chess.org with rakesh but okay i mean his reaction was normal like how anyone would have let's see if uh, adiban goes for bishop into c3 here uh, in this position this is summarize mo d5 is the best way this is known as the if if black takes on c3 b into c3 and f5 this is known as the jinji indian uh which i used to play with black but then i realized that a very powerful move here is e4 uh, giving up a pawn and after f4 e is f3 and ever since that i have not been playing uh, this so i i think black has several approaches he can play d6 knight f6 here let's see what uh, kabir has played adiban op is kabir he played e5 this is also a very viable approach and you need to play e4 gain the space play knight c knight f3 bishop d3 look at samai he's played e4 come on samay you need to play well you need to show this is his true strength okay i i believe this game will show his true strength and we need to see how well he plays i don't know how strong kabir is so no idea on that bishop g5 okay that's a nice feeler you know you, you feel your opponent's position you force him to play either f6 or h6 you know it's a it's a nice feeler uh, and now just bishop d3 but you know in such positions uh, in fact when you reach such position and you see that you have space and you have stability in the center you know he no longer has any pawn breaks then now flank attack can become very powerful and so h4 could have been a very interesting move the simple reason being h5 is a is a quite a monstrous threat and if you play h5 then now knight can go to h3 and sit on g5 which is another weakness created or the bishop can sit on g5 so i believe that this entire idea of uh, uh, adiban or kabir is not such a great idea let's see what what samay does he plays bg5 d6 knight g2 okay i think he wants to place his knight on g3 which is completely fine yes uh, <clears throat> ah G, gm chemil khan gm chemil chemil i am going to send you the link of today's stream on on your instagram join us would be nice to have you okay okay let's see where is chemil chemil, chemil, chemil. Yeah, here. No, wait. Did I send you the wrong link first? So let me let me just check. Yeah, click on the second one, Chemil. Don't click on the first one. First one was for yesterday. Second one. If you can join us, would be nice. Chemil is a GM from Turkey. Wonderful guy. Wonderful guy. Let's have him on stream. to analyze samay's game samay has now after castles well put your knight on g3 now samay and develop your bishop that would be nice H4, nice move, Samay. Very good. I think Samay is playing at a at a different level. You see his concentration when he's thinking. Now H5, as we discussed, is a good move. I would have preferred if he had kept the knight on G1 and did it so I has more flexibility. But still, knight on E2 is pretty okay. 
I think black has to be careful and black must instantly play h6 and start playing with f5 and attacking the position. Okay, Chemil, Chemil, I need to first understand his name. When he comes on stream, I'm going to ask him, but he's, he's joining us. F6, come back, Bishop E3, put your Bishop on E3, Samai, and then play H5 and then play, oops, not H5, not H5. Play Bishop E3, come back and then later on go H5. Yeah, he played bishop e3. Good job. Good job. I'm happy. Now be careful about this f4 push. This is an important moment in the game. Black is going to play f4. White must play carefully. Yeah, he played Bishop E3. Good job. Good job. I'm happy. Hi. Now, hi, Chemil. Hi. Welcome. How are you? Happy I'm good. Year. I'm good. You need to turn off the YouTube video. Yeah, yeah. I was watching it live. Uh, How is everything? Everything is wonderful. Wonderful. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you. I've been watching your streams all the time. It's late night here. Uh, so uh, More than late yeah. night, it's early morning, right? It's around... 4.30 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning? It's like 10 p.m. here. I live in St. Louis. Oh, West. you live in St. Louis. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. Tell us a bit more about yourself before we check Samai's game so that, you know, our viewers uh, know you very well. So, you are a grandmaster originally from Turkey, if I'm not wrong? Correct, correct. I was born and raised in... I became grandmaster at 19. Okay. And uh, in 2016, I moved to U.S. to study computer engineering and computer science. So I'm studying two fields in university and also I'm grandmaster. And you are same. in St. Louis University. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. And it's the chess hub of U.S. So you are like really well settled there for your chess career. Yeah, uh, exactly. The, the chess club is huge and all that. We have a huge team with plenty of grandmasters so who, who are the great... other ones who are the other ones uh, we have Darius Svirch, yeah. Alexander Ipatov um, who else we have Benjamin Bok myself uh, Akshat Chandra and uh, Francesco Rambaldi Do, these are the grandmasters we have like international masters and others as well Tremendous. but these are the uh grandmasters of the team okay okay and and you enjoy watching chess base india yeah i love your content it's probably one of the best channels i have seen in the in the entire globe so really? i appreciate your content i solve every day your daily puzzles or whenever you post on instagram i think it's it's a great challenger for me as well and uh, i really appreciate everything you guys do Chemil, very kind of you, very kind of you. Uh, and I must tell guys uh, that Chemil has not just uh, a YouTube channel, but also a Twitch channel. Yes, am I right? Yeah, that's right. Actually, we streamed with uh, Nihal Sarin the other day. We played four hours and it felt like three minutes for me. Uh, we were <laughs> just laughing and enjoying. He's such a nice person and uh, we were kind of trying to get used to each other and then uh two grandmasters challenged us in Buckhaus, arjun and sinat and mm. they just invaded our stream and we played like two hours straight without without stopping oh nice nice so you are you are in touch with all the indians out there but uh so mod mods if you can just put chemil's youtube channel uh here and also his uh twitch channel that would be wonderful so that people can follow him uh thank you Arya. Uh, but Chemil, can you see the the board right now on your on your screen? I can. Yes. Thanks for sharing the screen because I didn't have play chess. Yeah, but it's... can you can you tell us what's happening and uh, do you think that Samai has overextended his position? Yeah, and the initial look, I thought White was maybe doing wonderful because he's trying to attack on the king side, 
but as most of our viewers should know that you should not move too many times with your pieces hmm. and in the resulting position i think his king is stuck in the middle of the board because he is not fully developed and he is too focused on the king side attack and while lacking development this might be a problem so um it is the best suggestion to develop as much as you can and then start an attack so yeah we'll I, see how it goes i think but... this was a critical moment uh, here samai played f4 which i thought is slightly uh, although it's very logical to stop black from playing f4 somehow yeah. he could have done something else here i don't know maybe f3 is better yeah I f3 a bit more calm yeah and um, then if you push you have a square and then you can uh, i guess move the queen and long castle yeah i mean as you know it's tough these structures are very tough even computers have tough time understanding hmm. such positions because the position is very locked but uh, as you said queen c2 long castle and then maybe try to play a bit positionally is the right way yeah yeah but as far as i watched i think same has improved a lot right lately or... well he was strong he is improved but you know he's always torn between two characters one is a chess player and another one is entertainer so he has to entertain his crowd and when he has to entertain he has to play sometimes sacrifices rash chess and so mornings are the time when he comes to chess base india are the times when i try to bring out the chess player in him but uh, today like the entertainer was in full swing at the start and then right now you know he started playing seriously um i don't know yeah, if his yeah. opponent has played a move here yeah knight f5 i thought this is this is a strong move yeah knight f5 yeah so i expect bishop f2 here but it looks very dangerous for for white yeah bishop f2 or b2 is also hanging so i think you have to do something about it yeah i intuitively wanted to sacrifice it because if we go bishop c1 back i feel like we are under developing all our pieces yeah like rook e8 mm -hmm. and then if bishop d3 there could be knight g3 yeah like this might be big, big yeah, trouble. exactly i mean this is actually a big problem and maybe there is knight e6 to sacrifice pawn for some light squares but it's not an easy choice yeah not now yeah. after rook let's see bishop d2 okay but black can also go wrong with let's say bishop takes b2 you can i mean it's not going wrong but i feel like that's not the main goal for the black player to pick up pawns yeah agreed agreed i mean if rook b1 you go back and samai can play bishop d3 and but even castling doesn't look safe you know like so what should yeah. he do is his king is stuck ah knight d4 was played is there a threat not one i can see but maybe he wants to play bishop f5 and try to get knight c2 yeah yeah so bishop d3 might be a good idea now just develop yeah. bishop d3 and he might have to play yeah maybe bishop f5 i like what black player is doing so far so i think the entertainer should come out and the chess player should really settle in okay h5 <laughs> <laughs> well this going. is this is real really uh danger stuff uh, i think white either white will checkmate black or white's going to lose in the next five moves really risky chess yes this is very double edged and this is not the most recommended way of playing to attack without finishing development so let's see are they playing with increment no no way? increment it's 10 minute okay. game so bishop f5 so I... he has the upper hand in the clock yes so bishop d3 and if now rook e8 then you go knight e6 and and give up that pawn like uh, here maybe yeah because it's forced right yeah and There's then no other... then hope that you can survive somehow but i don't know i i'm very doubtful yeah queen e7 coming yes. d5 queen d5 yeah yeah this <laughs> this looks bad but, but of course this is ideal chess but you yeah. know what uh, i'm i'm impressed with some i don't i'm not unhappy because he played logically and somehow his opponent played really well and he lost because 
he was not strong enough not because he made some silly error you know like just giving up a pawn or something like that yeah yeah there was no like one move blunder and that's probably the most important thing when you are like improving your level is to avoid one move blunders yeah. because when you eliminate that your progress will be much faster because then you can actually enjoy the depth of the game of chess without making silly one move mistakes so he he lost or he's he might lose let's say in the long run versus losing in just one stupid mistake yeah so yeah, absolutely I mean, so far, I think they are both fighting and it's very important. Exactly. Uh, Rahul Majumdar says, just watch Samai's prank call stream Amazing Catch by Sagar Sir on the Big Boss Gambit. Oh, well, Samai's voice was absolutely easy to find. Oh, Knight D7. That gives White a lot of time now. I think uh, White should make use of that. If white can magically castle long somehow, you know, get his king to c1, he would be better here. For sure. He would probably be close to winning. Yeah. But the queen doesn't really have a good square yeah. outside the first rank. And, okay, Ooh. he's greedy, but queen e7 wins. Ooh. Ooh. He took, yeah, queen e7 check. Oh, he missed that. He missed that. He, missed he that. plays it immediately. He missed that, yeah. This is not real Adiban, yeah? No, no. <laughs> well, somebody got a tough opponent. That's for sure. I'm not going to be upset with him for this game. This was well played by him uh, and well tried, well fought. Yeah, I mean, such things happen. Um, and uh, yeah, the fight was the most important. This was which opening? It was the was something like Benoni, right? Yeah, yeah, ben Benoni. Oh, Bishop G4 is just finishing him off completely now. Yeah, but I like the creativity that he's trying to <laughs> try something on the eighth file before. And he can also flag his opponent with him. But Bishop G4 is close to mate. Yeah, 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 exactly. Knight exactly. E4, he has to play to resist a bit extra. I mean, I still have faith that he can win on time, but I don't know if winning on time is in his vocabulary. <laughs> no, no, he loves it. He loves to win on he time. Loves he loves to win on time. But I think 43 seconds is a bit too much when you're losing your yeah. queen now. Pran no, because most players, uh, when they start out, they are very respectful towards the game. They don't want to flag people. It's just after you become like used <laughs> to the game, you start flagging because you realize oh. that sometimes your only chance. And he didn't take on H5. He could have taken on d6. And then if bishop g4, queen g3 check would have been a mate. So, yeah. uh, well, this didn't work. Pranay Chatterjee. Hi, Sagar. Love your streams. Please ask Samai if everything is fine with Rakesh after the prank call yesterday. Oh, of course. Everything would be fine. Don't worry. Yeah, I know you guys want to increase the face size, uh, but uh, well, it's too much of a hassle right now. I need to learn these things a bit better from either Samai or Vidit at some point. I'll do that. So this game, this game is, is almost over here because too many pieces are hanging for white. Uh, yeah, yeah, this game is... Uh... It's very close to finishing. So, okay. Chemil, tell us a bit about your uh, uh, life in the lockdown. Are are you st uh, is the university going on right now, or is it like not not happen nothing's happening there? So only chess. So my courses are all online, okay. and um, I am a senior, so it's like final year in college, and uh, I am doing like final year projects and also doing chess. Mostly, I am on. Twitch and YouTube, either watching or maybe recording videos or streaming. So I am more an online person and also working on daily chess because I am now like 25, 50 FIDE rating. Okay. And I would like to get to 2600 after the lockdown. I was supposed to play the Olympiad for the national team, hmm. but sadly that didn't happen. So getting ready for the potential next year's Olympiad. And you, you are just, what, 22 or something? 
My age is 22, yeah. Yeah, so 22 and 25, 50, guys. This is this is really strong. Uh, now it's and all... And full-time student. <laughs> Sorry? And a full-time student. And a full-time student. Yeah, yeah. You are, you are donning so many hats right now. Samai, Samai, what happened in the end? Time pressure. Oh, you resigned? Yeah. Why? No JNK camera, bro. Good job. Good job. Proud of you. Proud of you. First of all, I'm going to uh, introduce you to a guest we have today. Uh, hey. Chemil. <laughs> Chemil. Uh, first of all, tell me your name. Yeah. Is it Chemil? Is it Chan? How, how should I call you? It's Jamil, Jamil Jan, technically, because the C is like J in Turkish. Okay, Jamil Jan Samai. Jamil Jan is a grandmaster from Turkey. Uh, oh. hey, he... Hello, Jamil. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. But uh, he is not in Turkey right now, as you can see from his background. It's very dark, uh, so it's night time. So he's in the US. Yeah. And he follows uh, Chess Base India streams regularly, so he knows you well and he knows uh, what's happening here. He was there in the chat, so we got him here uh, and you were playing. So, uh, first of all, Ch Chemil will uh, tell you where you went wrong and how you can improve in this game, uh, in this particular game. But Samai, I must tell you, I'm very proud of you the way you played in this game. It was, it was a good game. Not not at all. I mean, Kabir was a stronger opponent and he outplayed you, but you didn't make any blunder or any silly, silly errors. Thanks, yeah. Hmm. yeah, it was definitely a very good fight, I think. And it's good to see that you don't blunder in just one move. I was saying this while you were playing. You lost at the real chess game, which is probably the most honorable way of losing. Because you wanted to kill your opponent on the king side, but yeah. you kind of didn't finish your development with your bishop and your king. So your king was stuck at the middle of the board. And yeah. that costed you all the, the game, I think. If instead you could, instead of opening up the game with move f4. Okay, one think... second. Let, let me share the screen so you can, you can uh, explain better. Samai... Uh, one second. I hope you guys can see the screen. Yeah. Man, what a game. Brilliant game. Um, I can see yeah. Samai not feeling good. I, I like this look of Samai. When he is upset, when he's feeling a little bit low, because it means he tried really hard, you know? Yeah, man, I gave it all. He gave it his all. I, I could see it. I could see it. Okay, yeah, so... I don't see the entertainer. Uh, part now he is slightly <laughs> motivated but we will bring him we'll bring him to stage i watch his content so i'll bring him to stage oh, man. <laughs> you you will uh, bring him to us <laughs> no i mean <laughs> <laughs> weather in awkward OP. <laughs> oh no no oh, you, you will bring him to the entertainer state you mean I yes, yes, you, said... you have done it you have done it sir <laughs> i, have done it with I this. thought jamil was saying i will get him to the states <laughs> United States. <laughs> uh, he's always welcome if he ends up. But two minutes, two kilo, rene, two boy. But I think he's enjoying his life. So no problem. Oh man. Oh, okay. So. Okay, so the opening, everything is good. Knight c3, excellent. D5 is best move. The Prof most principal. Move. Very professional way to play. The opening. Yeah, very I think I am scared to play this move sometimes, but uh, it's the best move by far. Uh, your opponent has many choices. He could have taken the knight, which looks very suspicious, actually, but it has been played for years, and I have even seen the move f5 here. It's, uh, but, uh, it isn't that bishop on uh, g7 a strong bishop? Why would he give it up for the knight? Yeah, so the idea is mainly to double your pawns and try to play it positionally. So they try to restrict your uh, bishops with the pawn structure and try to, in the long run, dominate. But this hasn't been in fashion for years because computers just destroyed it. And now grandmasters just prepare using engines and this is stopped at the top level. So your opponent played e5. I think I, I used uh. to play this with black and the best move here for white to gain an advantage. Let's let's ask Samai. Samai, if you can think about it, what should white play here? Because he's already... Um, uh, you know, black has, as you rightly pointed out, given up this important bishop. 
so how do you continue here you have to continue aggressively aggressively yeah i don't know e4 very good very good takes uh queen uh, g4 possible but then he just develops and uh, defends everything bishop g5 are queen mar raha hai oh sorry queen is angry but here i will give you a, a hint how to uh, just e4 c5 you know this opening yeah knight c3 a basically e5. you gave up a pawn with white for development so try to use the same concept here f3 yeah very good and after this if he takes you just take it takes back. and then bishop d3 castles and you are you are having look at this king these weaknesses okay so that was my small input if f5 is i think now not so good because of e4 and f3 uh, so jamil you can take over <clears throat> yeah so e5 uh, was played yeah. and you played four and this is a common structure maybe you have seen it before or not but it's in the benoni yeah the benoni structure wow. yeah exactly wow. so uh the in these structures king side attack is a definite idea like h4 h5 so but also you can play more on the queen side like rook b1 a3 b4 it really depends on how the game develops but you have the space advantage so in the long run white should be the one trying to press with the pawn pushes so your opponent developed normally knight e7 you played bishop g5 with the threat of playing d6 but uh, maybe bishop g5 is not the most ideal square because it can be kicked around but i still like the developing so it's a good move i think uh, because it has a point it's not a useless development move which is probably the most yeah important. i was threatening d6 yeah and your opponent stopped it and then you play knight e2 why did you play knight e2 did you have a i wanted to push f4 in the future uh, knight at f knight f3 would uh, not help me okay after okay. he would push i i knew would push f5 yeah and then i would push f4 okay so that's i wanted to get my knight there okay that's that's reasonable and uh, sometimes you have the option of playing g3 bishop g2 in the long run so it's a flexible idea i think okay he goes castles and h4 here you already started the the attack f6 okay bishop e3 f5 these are normal and here i think you overextended with the move f4 because you are fully not developed with your bishop on f1 and most importantly your king is still at the middle of the board so after potential trades in the middle which e takes f4 and f4 like in the game uh the center exploded and suddenly your king is left open on the e file and these trades are very uh tough to handle so maybe better move was to play f3 instead of f4 keeping the position locked so that your opponent doesn't open the center and try to attack you maybe this is not the best you could have achieved out of the opening because it's now harder to attack and you cannot play f4 maybe because he will go f4 himself probably but this is more of a positional struggle than attacking you can still go in the long run h5 but i think the king side will be closed for most of the time you will go g5 and it will be blocked so it will turn to a battle on the queen side so the left hand side of the board where yeah. the queens are placed with b4 and maybe rook b1 queen d2 so slowly but this is most likely the area of the play for the next moves and after f4 i think in the game yeah it became very tough to handle so let's see if you had potentially any chances bishop d2 is 
decent. Yeah, it's good because you don't want to. Preventing queen a5. Ah, queen a5. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking bishop f2 maybe, but probably you're right. Queen a5 is very, very dangerous. Maybe knight d2 you have to play, but this position looks, yeah, just looks bad. Uh, because you are very underdeveloped. Rook e8. And uh, I don't even know how the play would go, but yeah, this looks just good for black. Yeah, so black. D2, yeah. <coughs> Let's see. Okay. Because I think you had some chances at some point. Knight d4. And maybe you shouldn't play h5. Yeah. This I wasn't so sure. <laughs> very, because very ambitious. You are going all in still without developing anything. And uh, maybe bishop d3 is better. But it's tough to say if it is really the better. <laughs> but for example, if bishop f5 if your opponent would continue with this plan, maybe you can go crazy with g4. g4. <laughs> Since you like it, might as well go with it. Yeah. Because if he takes on e4, you take. And if he pins you on the file, let's say rook e8, now you can go knight e6. And you sacrifice one pawn. If he takes, you take. And if rook takes, queen e2. And the beautiful thing is, if he tries to pin your bishop with queen e7, there is bishop d5. You counter pin him. Because you just, wow. you just got rid of his light squared bishop. And in chess, it's very important. When your opponent gets rid of one of his bishops, that color complex, which they call, gets weaker. So just like black gave up his light squared bishop, now all the light squares are weak because there is no piece which can control the light squares. Of course, this line is not a good line. It was just an illustration of what can potentially happen. But uh, I think it was a possible line. Welcome, so, Waibo. Waibo is in the chat. Uh, Waibo, uh, sorry, in the show. Waibo, good morning. Hi, good morning. Me Actually, what time is it there? Is it ni it's 9 a.m., near to 9 a.m. Uh, Weibo, I want to uh, introduce you to Jamil uh, Jan. He's a GM, uh, originally from Turkey, uh, but now lives in the US and is a very popular uh, streamer on Twitch and YouTube. And also right now, as I see, explaining Samai about his game, I see that he's a wonderful trainer, teacher as well. Uh, and he wants to bring me to the US. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't Hi, mean it that way, but you're welcome. <laughs> and, Hi, Jeff. Uh, nice to meet you, man. Jamil uh, Vaibo is one of India's top uh, stand-up comedians. So him and... Uh, there's only one top stand-up comedian here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and only one GM also. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I watch most of the stuff, but half of the things I don't understand. But I try to follow because, uh, like, I love the shows, like, three idiots like all the movies i watched but most of them were with subtitles so i couldn't learn hindi or any other dialect but i've been watching all these like movies and bollywood stuff my whole life so <laughs> oh that's awesome after after the game analysis jamil we'll ask you to to speak a bit of hindi Tika, okay <laughs> Tika. <laughs> okay uh i can try so, okay, yeah, this was maybe better, yeah? Because if you go h5, uh, like in the game, you're neglecting your development, and it was a big problem. Bishop f5 was the game. Now you played bishop d3, but you are like one tempo short. I think it was Fisher who said that, that chess is a game of one tempo. So always the game is decided with like one move. So now you are a bit late in time, and he plays knight d7. And now rook e8, thinking, rook e8 was better, right? Yeah, I think rook e8 was probably just <laughs> winning. Uh, yeah, winning because after knight e6, if you try to do the same idea as we saw previously, now he takes with the knight and then with the rook, so he didn't lose his light squared bishop. And then after you protect with the queen, let's say, he can increase the pressure with uh, queen e7. And I don't see how you can stop uh, bishop takes e4. Thanks, man. 
Yeah. So just one move and uh, you lost the initiative. The bishop arrived to f5 safely and you couldn't play g4 on time. So of course we are analyzing without engine. So maybe everything I said is wrong, but uh, it's what I think at the first sight. Yeah. So knight e7 and you took the pawn, but as you saw in the game, it loses the knight instantly with queen e7 check. But I don't know if there was really a good move for you. I am thinking about the same idea with g4. Maybe this was your best chance. Because if he takes, bishop takes, and maybe it works out actually. I don't know. This but... is this is actually a nice idea that you mentioned, Jamil, which is uh, when you take, you block with the queen, and then yeah. if he tries to increase the pressure, okay, here maybe it doesn't work, yeah, because of knight f6 somehow. Still bishop d5. Ah, yeah, 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 bishop d5. <laughs> yeah, it, it works. works actually all the time, but it's just a lucky coincidence that it works. But it's a good trap to have because of this whole thing which happens. Yeah, but I uh, guess if, oh, he cannot even do king h8 stuff because then h into g6 might start getting risky here. Yeah, yeah. Now the whole plan works out. Now the whole plan of pushing the h pawn and they're using the rook on h1 actually became the real thing. This so, this reminds me of some famous game uh, <laughs> when, when somebody beat me. Yeah, this is the same concept yeah. he used. So yeah, this is maybe maybe G four. Maybe you are still in time for that. But yeah, you know, after that, after this, I just uh, collapsed. Yeah, you collapsed and okay. normal because you lost uh, your material and your attack. And I after you lost both. I was hoping you could flag him, but you resigned. No, but I resigned. I I think uh, Kabir played well. Adiban underscore OP. Uh, good game. And uh, Jamil, thanks for, for joining in and analyzing this game uh, with us. Yeah, thank you. And thank and you. Uh, while, while you are about to leave, could you, could you speak a few Hindi? What's your favorite Hindi uh, quote or something you like? Okay, some of them I can use on. It's not, <laughs> it's not like entertainment show, <laughs> so I can't say most of them. But uh, I learned most of them from like the movie Three Idiots. And uh, fun fact about me is I know the whole Indian national anthem by heart. Really? Oh. Bye bye bye. Exactly. Yeah. I have to get up. I have to stand up. I, I, I like my career. <laughs> yeah, so I know the whole national anthem because I've been watching cricket since I was like eight years old. Oh. Like I, I watched like the World Cups and T20 ODIs and test cricket, everything. I would wake up, watch the highlights, sometimes wake up in the middle of the night. And at the end, I was like, okay, I should probably learn the national anthem because it's nice. It sounds good. And uh, that's how I learned it. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Wow. Well, yeah, we can we can see your concept. love for love for uh, India uh, and uh, your love for chess. Uh, so, thank you and and please keep keep following, guys. Uh, make sure that you you follow uh, Jamil on his uh, YouTube and on his Instagram. Would be wonderful. what is his ID? What's your What's your uh, channel's name on uh, YouTube, Jamil? It's G M Jamil Jan Chess. Oh, G M Jamil Jan Chess. So would be awesome if you guys can follow it uh once again yeah, thank you very much i will be a viewer now and watch the rest of the show uh, thank you so much for joining thank you Have thank nice you Jim. and enjoy it likes meeting you german yeah likewise see you all see you thanks bye weibo weibo you woke up at 7 30 and where were you for one hour I think I fell asleep again. Like I switched my alarm off and then I just fell asleep again. Coincidentally, I woke up again. Thank God. Great, Yo -yo. great, great. Fantastic. So today we have to end the stream at 9.30. We have half an hour. I'm going to teach you something very interesting uh, right now. Uh, but first, let me just save this. Wonderful man. Yeah, Jamil. He's very good. He's very good.
गेम भी बढ़िया था गेम वॉज ऑल्सो एक्सेलेंट समय आई वॉज इम्प्रेस्ड वो नो 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 क्या है प्रोग्रेस है क्या वो क्या नो 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 पिंड अच्छा पिंड नहीं आई एम ट्राइंग टू फाइंड द कॉमेडियंस डेटा बेस वेर आई सेव ऑल द गेम्स सो आई विल कंटिन्यू पुटिंग इट इन दैट हियर इट्स नाउ ग्रोन टू ओवर हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी थ्री गेम्स वाओ वाओ ओके सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू पुट दिस राइट ना आप लोग मेरा मजाक उड़ायाडरलैंड एंड दिस इज वाइट टू मूव आप क्या खेलोगे यहाँ पे वॉट विल यू प्ले हियर सॉरी try to think for a for a, for a minute here before night g3 or maybe perhaps knight c3 uh, the the aim to push e4 okay 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 nice vaibhav samay's aim is to put the knight on g3 or c3 and play e4 okay yeah that's actually i want to somehow exchange the knight and open the e file these are the two things i want to do so i have to push e4 at some point of time Okay, I'm going to teach you something which will be for many years. This has been my favorite strategic way of playing, uh, and and it has helped me a lot. Okay, so uh, first of all, to understand this, let's open a board and let's see some openings. Like first of all, d4, d5, c4, e6, and now if you see this, c d e d, this is a structure which we are actually seeing in the game. ये देखा फोर पॉन्स फॉर ब्लैक लाइक दिस थ्री पॉन्स फॉर ब्लैक हियर फाइव पॉन्स फॉर व्हाइट एंड टू डू यू सी दिस सेम स्ट्रक्चर वी वर एक्चुअली व्हेन आई शोड यू दिस गेम हियर इज द सेम स्ट्रक्चर फाइव पॉन्स एंड टू ऑन द साइड एंड फोर पॉन्स हियर एंड थ्री हियर करेक्ट ओके नाउ इफ यू वेन एवर सच अ स्ट्रक्चर कम्स यूजली white will go e3 and black will play c6 most of the times if it is vaibho yeah. he will play c5 i know that vaibho oh. likes to play c5 but actually c5 usually leads you into an isolated pawn position which not many people prefer so knight c3 knight f6 bishop g5 e c6 e3 yeah this is a common way to play this uh, entire opening So now what I'll do is I'll remove all the pieces and just put the pawns. Okay. Now in the game Samai said that his idea is to play e4 in such a position. If you look at a move e4 takes and such a structure. Okay, I'm going to just uh I want to remove this pawn now because the pawn will be taken so they will lead to this structure which is not the best I mean you have an isolated pawn here and only if white is very active with his pieces can it be good for you you know white has to have lot of activity but instead of doing e4 idea which you guys wanted to think of another pawn idea pawn break in such a position 
Rahul Before Mazumdar. We Rahul Mazumdar says, watching Samay and your streams, I taught my six-year-old daughter to play chess, including checks, captures, threats, develop. She knows that by heart now. Any adv advice on how to train a kid, how to play better? This one, Rahul, get this book, Chess Course, Chess Course. This is the first book that I read. It will be very useful for your kid to improve. Okay, Samay, your idea is just perfect. B4, B5. And let's try to understand this concept. B4, B5, khelna hai. Now, if he takes, you will take back with a piece. Bishop ya knight se. Kisi se to, we will take back. So then we will lead to a structure like this. Where this pawn is a big weakness. Because it is not defended by any other pawn. Same thing, if you... See b4, b5, black does nothing, then you take, take and this becomes very weak. And this square also becomes very weak. So you realize that minority attack, I have already actually explained this concept once very briefly to you in some. Yeah, long ago. Yes, is an attack by one of the pawns. On a ma majority, like here black has a majority, so you are in minority here. You are going to use, oops, you are going to use these pawns who are in minority to attack this majority. And in that thing, you will leave your opponent with a weakness. And the beauty of this is it comes through various openings. You know, like, abhi aap agar apun, if we see this, Sagar so went out. Yeah. After b4, b5, uh, after uh, c takes, uh, if, what if we don't have any, we, what if we have a dark square bishop? Yes. So it's okay. I mean, you. what if you have dark square bishop, Matlab? You will win back How this will we, How? No, if you, if you can't, uh, I mean, you shouldn't give a free pawn. Usually, like if you look here in this position, you will have some control on this square. Only then you play b5. You bring some control and then play b5. Don't just give a free pawn. You know, it's not worth it. It's a very small strategic idea. But it keeps on coming in various openings. Like if you see, if I if I do this e4, c6, d4, d5, Karokan from black. If white takes, again we have the same structure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 pawns, 1, 2, 3, 4, and here like this. So when white will go c3, like the main line goes bishop d3, knight c6, c3, then you first develop your pieces, sub pieces ko develop kar do, and then later on you can try for this b5, b4 minority attack. Vaibhav, does it make sense? Yeah. Viper wasn't saying anything, but I guess you were you were trying to understand. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Uh no, not yet. I'm still trying to like figure out why you're pushing d5. Okay. And so then, like after that what? So you create a weak pawn. Okay. So let's try to understand from the games. Now, in this game, I was playing white, and now as you would rightly point out, what is the best move for white here? Do you still want to go ng3 e4 Samai? Do you want to play nc3 e4 or something else? No. What? I want to play rook b1 and b4. Yes, but you can just go directly b4. This is what I did. Ah, okay. And this time he, he didn't take. He played queen e7. What do you do now? b5. Very good. Excellent. And you will see that, now just try to look at the position carefully. If it takes on b5, I will take with my bishop. Okay. Mm. And you will see that white has one pawn island and another one here. So he has two pawn islands. Black has one, two and three. So black has more weaknesses in the position. 
and this pawn be will become weak sooner or later i'll put my queen to b3 knight can go to f4 or c3 you know pawns which are not defended by another pawn always become weak why did he not take when uh on b4 yeah he should have taken but he was afraid that i will get the a file like now he must take here i take and now i'm again threatening b5 my minority attack is going to work no matter what see suppose in this position i play a move like say bishop d7 okay stopping b5 i will play queen b3 my idea is to push b5 so that when you take i'll take with my bishop and again you will have two weaknesses here and look at my structure this is a bullet proof structure you know like the only weakness is on f2 which is impossible to attack very easily you know like you can't attack easily what about uh, what if uh, they push b6 themselves very good this is a b5 or b6 here yeah so here now this pawn becomes weak so now you can just slowly go queen c3 or queen c2 rook uh, c8 yeah but that's what i'm saying you can go in with rook a6 rook a7 it's not oh. like you are winning but another weakness is created and now your idea of playing knight g3 and e4 later will make more sense because after takes 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 this pawn will become even more weak yeah it's a it's a there's there was one very famous game i should uh, just show you very quickly uh, because there was a game between karpov and spassky okay karpov is Uh, a world champion and so is spassky but in between two of them there was one more world champion do you remember who between karpov spassky and karpov fisher. fisher of course of course of course fisher uh so it was 1-0 the result was 1-0 and it was karpov who won so i'm just trying to find that game yeah exactly this is the game this is the this is exactly the game so ye structure abhi aapko pata hai five pawns two pawns ye aisa four yahan pe hai ye idhar so a typical minority attack here would be b4 b5 but the pawn is still on c7 but we'll see how it goes castles queen d6 rook c1 a6 a3 knight d7 b4 and you see they are playing and here spassky said abhi i don't want you to do minority attack i will stop it with b5 and suddenly karpo was like yes my plan is stopped also black wants to jump in with his knight on this newly created weakness but in this entire process he has given me something and you see how he plays now he goes knight e1 he is also looking to jump into this weakness c6 knight d3 knight b6 a4 bishop d8 knight c5 bishop c8 a5 bishop c7 threatening a mate here what okay mate a mate g3 knight c4 and now comes a powerful move white to move kya kheloge what should white play bishop takes on c4 yeah possible move it's not a bad move but white does something very thematic whenever you have pawns like this should e4 yeah he played e4 very strong move and after this bishop h3 rook e1 takes takes you will see that this weakness suddenly comes to light see yeah hey wait 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 what happened there what happened there sorry so knight c3 g6 he thought he's trapping the bishop but he took now he must take the bishop otherwise the bishop will simply come back and you will be pawned down so he took here now knight jumps to d5 now the threat is not just to take this bishop but also to attack with rook e7 so uh 
if you go something like bd8 then you lose this rook so somehow he couldn't save his bishop which was just a very nice calculation by carpo like if you go bishop b8 i go say rook e7 oh sorry bishop b8 also you can take here or maybe first rook e7 and then you can take f4 was played and now rook e7 queen f5 rook takes c7 and carpo went on to win this game it was a very nice game check takes there's a mate on g7 so he played rook f7 took king takes queen into f4 rook now if you you can't take this because it's pinned so he played rook e2 queen c7 king f8 and knight f4 uh, and he resigned because rook is attacked maybe knight e6 can come next uh, and he's down already three pawns so so very typical idea if you play b4 b5 and opponent plays b5 you can do that okay wow so in my game i'll just uh, tell you queen e7 b5 bishop d7 and now i took and you will see if he takes with the pawn this will become weak over here if he takes with the bishop like he did in the game then this pawn is a weakness always so you see now how uh, how I built up a pressure. First a4, fixing this weakness on b5, knight e4, knight c3. I'm happy to exchange pieces because I have a long term advantage. He played knight f6 back, uh, which was not a good move. He should have played f5, keeping his knight in the center. Still white is slightly better. Knight f6, queen b3, rook d8. Rook a b1 now putting rook on the open file bringing the other rook to the so you see slowly white pieces are all nicely pos positioned this bishop is like a big pawn knight d7 knight b5 bishop b5 queen b5 and in the end you saw one of his pawns fell he tried to infiltrate but uh, it was just I took the pawn and my opponent resigned here so you see all all his pawns this minority attack proved so powerful that his weak pawns soon fell off and he resigned here now I'll give you one more example to illustrate this theme this is uh, sorry to Nuber, but I didn't want to. Uh, <laughs> I, there, was, there was no no intention to show this game just because it is. I know, bro. Haan. I know deep down. Kuch bhi nahi hai. This was prepared long ago. Yeah, yeah. So he played <laughs> d5 here. And once again, the same uh, theme of uh, minority attack, which is b4. b4. Queen e6, b5. And if you see everything here, how it will happen, in the end, black will be left with more weaknesses. So let's say ab, cd, 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 and then knight b5. And you will see that threatening here. This is a little bit different version of minority attack. But if I take cb, this is a clear minority attack. Now, Either he will take here and then this will be weak and uh, or he will take or I will take uh, on c6 and then this pawn will be weakness. Yep. Okay. White to move. <laughs> now you guys are expert, yeah? G5. We have a knight. E2. Yeah, I played here. King G7. B5. Five. 
uh, B takes on C5, S6. And now you will see this is a weakness here. And you slowly build on it. Queen B3, Kelo. Yeah, I played knight A4 in the game looking at this square. Uh, it's a long term weakness. You don't even need to rush. Like you will see in the game, uh, it just somehow the position just wins on its own. You know, you don't even have to try too much. Like here, of course, uh, something else happened. His queen got trapped. Sorry, her queen got trapped here. Rook F8, Rook A1. Queen B4. But why her queen? It's Nubar Shah Sheikh, right? No, this is Malti Vatwar. That Nubar okay. game was not just... Nubar Shah. That was just one I showed, no? That one move. B4, B5. Okay, okay. And this is... This was winning. Okay. Let's go to... This is uh, one of my fav favorite games. Let's look at from the opening. Uh, him against Himanshu Sharma, who is now a Grandmaster. Uh, so this is the queen's gambit and summer you play this many times with white yeah long but, castle yeah long castle is the aggressive so you can play aggressively with long castle and h4 your idea or yeah you can play now what i am teaching you right now so based on your mood you can short castle yeah. with the idea of minority, minority attack. attack so knight of it and now rook b1 this is how you play minority attack the reason to start minority attack with rook b1 and not a3 is because when you play a3 he goes a5 and you i mean if he goes a5 you anyway have to play rook b1 but if he play if he plays say you doesn't do anything you know like he waits suppose say bishop e6 you play b4 and now he plays a6 you will anyway have to later on play rook b1 and a4. So what people say is start with rook b1 because if now bishop e6, b4, he plays a6, in one move you can play a4. a3, a4, do move nahi jayega tumhara. What should black do here? Should he push c5? Usually, usually the best way to meet the this is when he plays b4, b5, he should go c5. And accept this weakness as an isolated pawn. But many times that is not even possible. Like you see knight e4. I take, take. And I play b4. Mm. a6. B, a4. Bishop f5. And now I play b5. And you will see that c5 is impossible because I will take on d5. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, uh, yeah, Yadnesh Desai says, thanks to you, Samai, I mean, Vidit improved my rating from 500 to 900, targeting 1000 next. Brilliant. Keep it up. GM Jamil Chan is very active in the chat. Uh, Jamil, wonderful uh, that you are interacting with the people in the chat. I think this Rajabo, you have Timur Rajabo. Yes, bhai. He is uh, so active in the chat. He's like, he wants to be the moderator and he's so active. I think that is uh, very, very interesting. Like I had never seen so someone so uh, excited to be a moderator. <laughs> okay. A4, Bishop F5 and B5. Again, same concept. A, B, A, B, C, B and you know, all this will be rook weak. B5. Yeah. So takes, takes. Opponent played rook a3. He's uh, close to a GM at that point. So he was playing uh, very uh, actively, aggressively. But even against a strong player, the minority attack works just fine. You know, like here, I took, took. And you will see that this pawn became very weak. Later on, uh, I managed to win this game. Okay, uh, and now comes my, my favorite game, which I wanted to show since a long time. And there are some questions for you to solve uh, here in this game. So let's begin. So I have told you one of my favorite books is 62 most instructive games of chess. I love that book very much. And in that book, the last game is this one. 
it's like uh, it's it, the name of the book that there is a title for every game and the title of this game was uh, symphony a heavenly symphony something like this so white is larry evans black is osfall d4 and f6 c4 e6 knight c3 d5 bishop g5 knight d7 e3 bishop e7 queen c2 castles cd ed and now we get our structure it's known as the Karlsbad structure this is by the way i i should have told you this name earlier phi 2 versus 4 3 this is known as the Karlsbad structure in this way there is a place called Karlsbad c a r l s b a d Karlsbad and that's how it works yeah it's near hyderabad only bro <laughs> Knight f3, c6, bishop d3, rook e8, castles, knight f8. And now what's the move you should play here? Rook b1. b4. Yeah, b4 is a free pawn, unfortunately. So, after rook b1. Very good. Rook b1, knight e4. Now, continue. Bishop takes, he uh, takes on e7. Took, and now? And uh, now first we go b4. Very good. a6. Then you go a4. A okay. Knight c3. Queen. Queen takes. And you know, black's main aim, you know, it's not like one-sided strategy. So what I'm teaching you, your opponent will always try to play on the king side here this part of the board he will try to play here because he knows that here there is very little he can do to stop this minority attack so you need to take care of your king side and keep furthering your queen side ambitions bro but what if over there he plays b5 yeah pawn weak ho jayega na okay apna bhi to hoga lekin kaun sa wo b5 agar karega humne agar le liya a takes on b5. Okay. A bit of Ilalia Marra, but even if let's say you go b5 and I can play a5, then you you are right that b4 is slightly weak, but c6 is even weaker. And mainly white has more space in this position. Okay. So white to move. What will you play here? Bishop e2. He played knight d2. Not bishop e2 is also not a bad move. I like it. You are taking care of your king's side. But knight d2 is better. Queen g5. Abhi kya khelo? Play carefully. Play carefully. Chandan Purohit says, yesterday Vidit versus Raja versus Anish games are awesome. Please talk about those games. They were very nice. I mean, amazing. They, the way they were playing chess, I I saw it and I was like, wow, too good, too good. I mean, to see top 10 players in the world playing uh, Blitz, uh, playing Bullet and understanding their psychology. It's only because of the lockdown that we could witness it. Is it f3? b5? f3 mein ye pawn mar raha hai. Oh, ha, ha. And b5 is what you want to do. But always remember, it's like this, you know. Uh, Samai. I don't yeah. know how, how uh, you are like, are you very ambitious in life? Like, I, I imagine that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are ambitious and you want to become, let's say, one of the best comedians in the world. Okay. But at every point, if that is your ultimate aim, at every point, you have to take care of your personal life. And that involves your health, your family, your relationships and so on. Same way, let's imagine B playing B5 and playing attacking these weaknesses is like your career, main career, that's comedy. But at the same time, very important is this side because that's your family, that's your health. If you can't take care of this side of the board, 
then this is actually pointless. So when you play a move like b5, suddenly black plays bishop h3 and you are like, Are, but you know, my aims, my, my ambitions, but suddenly here and you lose an exchange. Got it. <laughs> How was the example? Oh, great, bro. Doesn't work for orphans. Uh, why? They don't have health? This is just a point. You are personally taking it. No, no. It was very big. Best. You should okay. become Sadhguru. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, he played Rook Fc1. This is very nice move. Because now, the same idea with Bishop H3. You can either go G3 and no Rook is hanging. Uh, here on F1. Why C1? Why not like E1, E or D? Like, how did he choose C1? This is the C1? ideal place because after B5, either this file will open up or mm -hmm. if you take on C6, then C6 will become weak. You know, so mm -hmm. Rook on C1 is the ideal. Rook E6. You see, he's attacking. But now B5. So we are completely playing on the queen side. He's completely playing on the king side. Absolutely. This is what is going to happen. And most of your opponents who are not good will not even play on the king side. Wo log pe hi and when you when someone is attacking you and you keep defending, some day you will you will be able to you know break through. So black's Sorry. right strategy is to attack, but still white is better. You know, A B, A B, Bishop H3. And now, what do you do? G3. Very good. Rook E8. Then you take... Uh, A4. He took. A4. Now you see, again, minority attack in full glory. If he takes with the rook, then this pawn and this pawn both are weak. Like here, takes queen B3, suppose. Now this is a weakness, always needs defense, and this is a weakness. Wow. Principle of two weakness. Yes, this is two weaknesses already created and end game will be clearly better while look at white structure, bulletproof. So he took with the pawn, but now again, this pawn is a weakness. And now again, here, Rook B6. Rook B6 is a good move, but following our principle of taking care of both the sides, you know, like yaha pe weakness has been created somehow. If the rook joins in, there could be some attacking potential here. So what white did is played bishop f1 and said, do you want to take this? If you take, I'll put my knight here. My knight defends everything and now I will gang up on this pawn. Got it. So he took knight takes, knight g6 and now you see he comes in. Knight e7, queen b4, h5. The, the black tries to attack a bit, but it's too solid. Like, look at this knight defending everything. Rook b8, exchange a piece, queen. And now, how should white make sure that, his attack, uh, that he can play risk-free, without any risk, in this position? Should invest in mutual funds. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it should go uh, king g2. Yeah, but risk-free, risk-free in this position. You know, you you have this weakness forever to attack. Like if I get this weakness, uh, exchange the queen, maybe. Very good, queen. Ooh, takes takes. And now nice. now you will see white will go knight d. Uh, sorry, not such a big jump. Knight d two, knight b three, knight c five, knight a five, rook b one. Rook b one, rook b seven, rook b six. You know, this is now playing for two results. Either white will win or a draw. Kuch bhi hoga, but black can never hope to win such a position. Of course. I mean, at, I'm talking about at, a, at where Larry Evans and Ospal are playing. Black is subjected to passive defense here. Knight d2. You see now bringing his king in. Rook is entering into the position. Knight kaise? slowly, slowly is just creating problems and then later on uh, this is a very beautiful uh, game. Actually, he went on to win this. 
but my concept which i wanted to explain to you is very simple minority attack is actually an attack of lower lesser number of pawns on a huge mass of pawns you know here by two pawns only and that will leave your opponent with either one or two weaknesses sorry bro can you show how he won that game in the end i, I couldn't understand okay we were here f6 he went knight at 7 he went king e6 he gave a check king f7 and now white to play and win knight takes no nothing kelo 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 oh knight knight takes, takes g6 absolutely he won a oh. pawn and I, oh and now there is still a weakness here ये ही तो बोल रहा हूं ना प्रिंसिपल ऑफ टू वीकनेसेस क्या रहता है सी हियर दिस इज अ वीकनेस अब अगर आप इसको अटैक करते रहोगे इफ यू कीप अटैकिंग दिस ब्लैक विल डिफेंड इट सो वाइट सेस आई विल गो फॉर अनदर वीकनेस विच इज ऑन द अदर साइड ऑफ द बोर्ड ये देखो यहां पे सो देन ब्लैक सेस बट ओके आई एम डिफेंडिंग इफ यू गोज किंग एफ सिक्स वॉज बेटर बट ही वेंट किंग डी सिक्स एंड अटैकिंग द रुक एंड नाउ एफ सिक्स तो अटैक अभी देखो ये भी वीक हो गया यहां पे दिस इज ऑल्सो वीक सो यू नो प्रिंसिपल ऑफ टू वीकनेस इज नॉट ऑलवेज लाइक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन चेस बिकॉज इफ यू डोंट नो इट यू विल कॉन्स्टेंटली कीप ऑन बैंगिंग योर हेड ऑन सी सिक्स पॉन एंड ही विल कीप डिफेंडिंग यू कैन नॉट ब्रेक थ्रू बट सडनली यू गो टू द अदर साइड एंड समथिंग विल हैपन सागर आई हेड क्वेश्चन जस्ट लाइक एक छोटा सा हाँ हियर हाउ डू यू सी नहीं हियर हाउ डू यू सी दैट जी सिक्स इज वीक matlab although it's already defended by a piece but a, why do you a, say that this is weak a pawn a pawn which is defended by a piece and attacked by a piece is a weak anything which can be attacked once and also defended once can become a weakness so here if the pawn was on f7 i would never call this a weakness but i okay. will call this weak because i can attack it the moment right. it goes here suddenly this becomes weak and you will see that here yeah. after king e6 knight f8 now suddenly is attacking once defending once it means that if i can just increase one more attack it falls hmm. so here now after knight g6 and you win this and uh, so i i think this was today's session i have to rush right now because it's already 938 uh, but uh, i hope that you can you can try using minority attack in your uh, games life or oh, games also <laughs> <laughs> This is propaganda. <laughs> Love you, bye, Sagar, bye. <laughs> Thanks, Sagar. Thank you, Vibo. Thanks, Samay, for for coming today morning. And uh, by the way, yesterday there was this Kahoot. Were you able to check, Vibo, that? Stream? Not yet. I started the stream. Uh, I tried to go on the website and give the whole pin to myself. Uh, I think I can also play the quiz. So that's where I stopped. I was like, Oh, you can play that right now. I think so. I was going to try it because I okay. got into the website. It asked for a pin. I don't know if I can play it, so I wanted to play it first. Okay. Let's so, play chess on uh, playchess. dot com first. After this. Oh, thank you, Samay. Thank you. Uh, I I can't. I have to take some some sleep. I haven't slept much, but yeah. All night. Oh, great. Yeah, not much. Yeah. Guys, take Sagar, some. I rest. promise we will do. Uh, Reaching to twelve hundred and reaching fourteen hundred with you. Please, I serious think chess. I think, but no J N K gambit and serious chess. Just reach there once and show to the world that if I'm focused, I can do anything. But now I want to be entertainer, so I can I will enjoy and come back to one thousand. You know, so one time reach there and then you Done. can you know do that further because I I think it's possible very clearly. I was saying eighteen hundred also. Let's do it, boy. Hmm. I'm also better, boss. This call after this. Okay, boy. Nice. Take care. Thanks, bye bye, bro. Okay, boy, boy. Take care and boy, boy. Uh, all the best to you. Uh, and and uh, try to. What do you say? Kahoot solve it and then write to me how uh, how uh, it was. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Hello, Rakesh.
अरे अरे ही वॉज सेंग समथिंग समय वॉज सेंग समथिंग आई कैंसल दिस आई एम आई हैव टू रश एक्चुअली फ्रॉम टूडे ऑनवर्ड्स एवरी डे वी हैव टू एंड द स्ट्रीम एट नाइन थर्टी सो वील हैव टू मेक यूज ऑफ गुड यूज ऑफ दैट एट टू नाइन थर्टी टाइम आई विल सी यू गाइज सून टेक केयर एंड लव यू ऑल थैंक यू फॉर बींग सच वंडरफुल ऑडियंस एंड अ बिग थैंक्स टू जेमिल चांद ग्रैंड मास्टर हु वॉज हियर टूडे गाइज प्लीज फॉलो हिम ऑन डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म्स ऑन ट्विच ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड यूट्यूब वेरी वेरी नाइस गाय आई थरली एन्जॉयड हिज कंपनी एंड द वे ही टॉट दोज लिटल न्यूआंसिस टू समय वॉज ऑल्सो ग्रेट फन थैंक यू जेमिल बाय